This story revolves around a family who owns a small rest home via the southern trade route in Bethlehem. The political background of the nation of Israel has been shady with a multitude of failed revolts <laughs> against the ruling Roman authority. The family consists of three members. Benjamin, Leora, his wife, and Isaac, Benjamin's father. It is the fall season on a clear sky. It is the late hours of the day and the family is readying the place for the next set of customers. Benjamin is hurrying about cleaning the tables. Leora is rinsing the vessels and Isaac slowly moves to the door. Father, where are you going? Your food is still untouched. Ben, not before my prayers. I'm deeply concerned for us. What would you pray for, Father? We have a small business. We're doing okay. Then Shouldn't I, we be grateful? Then I do not worry for us. I worry and fear for the country, the people. When we had our freedom, we chose to seek out wrongs. And when we had been enchained, we turn even more to wrongdoers to set us free. Oh, enough, enough. We need a fresh start. We need somebody to, to give us a fresh start. And that's my prayer. Friends, serve us your best wine. And bring us all the meat you have, uh, except lamb. And come join us too, please. Come, come. Best wine? Find me? Sure, sure. Leora, can you warm the food, please? So friends, what's the reason for all this joy? Is any one of you fine people getting married? Oh, oh. no, no. We're all married. Oh. Your work, probably your flocks or fields have brought forth much yield? No. no. Something, Something even, even more wonderful. wonderful. Did you meet King Herod? Or any government authorities? Not exactly, but we did meet the king. What? What king? What, what are you trying to say? Who are you three? Hallelujah. 
Wow. So you've met the deliverer. Has it come finally? Is this true? Is this really true? Who verified all this? Did the priest? Did the senator? The, the angels. angels. Who? Oh, it was the most shocking event of my life. These beings of light, they appeared in the heavens. And put to sleep all of our sheep and sheeplings. <laughs> put to sleep? How? Uh, oh, <laughs> like this. <laughs> yes, in fact, they are still asleep. And it's a good thing too, so we could hurry up and meet our deliverer. And they said, glad tidings and great joy to all. For today in Bethlehem is born the king of all. And off we hurried to the star of flocks. And there we saw this great sight. This wonderful prince and this, this baby boy who... Yeah, well maybe that's a story for another time. Oh. Brothers... Our sheep are still in the pen. We need to hurry and prepare our routines for tomorrow. But, but, but wait, please, tell us about the deliverer. Uh, where is he now? Uh, Who are his parents? Uh, what signs did you see? And Sorry, we will come back again. And God willing, we, we will finish our story. Yes. Shalom. Shalom. And thank you so much for the food. Amazing. Could it be that... The years of silence are finally over. Has the deliverer come? Remember then, the story of Moses. God raised up a deliverer to deliver us from the bondage of sin and oppression. And now, we need a deliverer. This time, from our lives. Perhaps, perhaps this band of singing shepherds have stumbled upon something truly great. Perhaps tonight is the special night that we have long awaited? So, no more Roman oppression. Shh, Ben, shh. Don't upset the Romans. We will wait upon God. And if this is the night of all the nights, as much as the Passover night in Egypt, then we will remember this night will remember this night and wait for the days to come. Praise be to Yahweh. Praise be, Praise to, be Yahweh. to Yahweh. About a few months pass by. There are several rumors and stories passing through the commoners. Benjamin and Isaac are aware of them all, but keep their joy and suspicions to themselves to protect their family and their inn. You see, their inn was frequented by several units of the Roman infantry. On yet another such night, a more sophisticated group of people ride in along with their caravans and their carriages. This group seems unorthodox. They definitely are not natives of the land. And they definitely must be a sect of royal dignitaries. And they all travel with strange equipments. I told you, I told you, if you had listened to me, perhaps we could have avoided meeting the big man. I told you the stars weren't leading us to that place uh, that... Uh, Mayor, perhaps not in front of these people. You need not scare them with your circumnavigational spectral planes. Circum? Circum? No circumcisions here. We are a restaurant. We serve kosher food. Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, so we, we truly apologize. Yes. Uh, my name is Amir. Amir Ben Yosef. Uh, this is Yared. Yared Ben Sousa. And... Uh, the man there with the children's toy is Mayor, Mayor Ben Mordecai. This is not a children's toy. This is the most advanced form of planetary tracker to track the roots of the... So your toy, sir. Uh, as I was saying, we are scholars. We have traveled from the far east to study the wonders of the scientific and the supernatural. And 
we have come to this beautiful part of your land to see the fulfillment of the Torah and the birth of the new king. So have you heard of the prophecies as well? What more have you heard? When will it come to be passed and when will everything be revealed to us? What must we do? No, 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 you don't understand. He is here. Your deliverer is already here and you need not do anything anymore. Uh, perhaps you need to sit down because we have a story to tell you. So, after a short detour at the big man's palace, um, you know who we are talking about, right? Big man, huge man, with a belly full of jelly like a hippopotamus. Oh, man. There are people eating here. Anyway, we found the place of stay. We got off our animals. Our hands trembled. Our feet shook. You, you see, we, we serve in the royal courts. It is our routine duty to go before the kings and their council and present our research and findings. But today, today was different. Today, today, today we realized we were going to stand before the king of all kings. We hurried and knocked on the door and quickly told the people that we, had, we brought tributes to salute the one true king of all. We spoke to the parents and then in the corner, in we saw that corner rested our rescuer, swaddled in ordinary linen, lying on a little bedding made of stone. And we truly, truly saw our rescuer. Captives. Good news for the shame. He is good news for the one who walked away. He is good news for the doubter. The one religion fails. For the good Lord has come to seek and save. He's our rescuer. Hey! He's our rescuer. Last time we heard of them, they were leaving town the same time that we were. Uh, instructed by the angels to quietly leave the land. Wait, angels? Have you met angels as well? Oh yes, 
In fact, they instructed us to take a different route to leave this land. And uh, how did you know about the angels? Well, we had some guests a few months ago who were given the information about the, cry, uh, yeah. the child. Yeah. Okay. No, no, please, please wait. Stay a little bit longer. Tell us more about the deliverer uh, and, and all the wonderful signs that have come to pass and, and that are still to follow. Uh, uh, good people, your hearts are definitely in the right place, but we need to leave the premises of the land by nightfall. See, the big man is searching for us. Please don't tell anyone of all that happened here. Uh, for your own safety. And don't worry, you will see the deliverer. You will hear him teach. Wait for him, for it is in your waiting you will be counted as one of the wise. Thank you so much, dear friends, and shalom. 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 Oh 